the tax savings alone of being in business for yourself is going to be more than worth whatever it is that you spent to get involved in your network marketing opportunity and, and to stay actively involved in your network marketing opportunity. Taxes take the first one third of your income. Now, if taxes take the first one third of your income, hear me and hear me good. That means you work for the government for a third of the year. You work for the government from January to April. Do you guys understand that? So if you look at your pay stub and see your gross and your net, the difference between your gross and net are taxes. So when taxes come out, you take home two thirds of what's left, not three thirds, which is 100%. You take home two thirds of what's left. And here's what's funny to me. People miss this. The third is just your income taxes. We haven't paid your property taxes yet. We haven't added up your sales taxes yet. Taxes take really about 40% of everything you get. They just take it over time. See, that's how capitalism works. They try to do things where you don't feel it, but then again, you wonder what the hell is going on. Let me tell you what's going on. Taxes is going on. Your net looks gross. Got to hear some of y'all in a second. So the benefits are, are absolutely enormous. Now, here's the second benefit. In 2018 and beyond, if you don't start your own small business, if you don't start uh, a business for yourself and become an entrepreneur, if you're a W-2 wage earner someplace else and you don't decide to become an entrepreneur and, and start your own business, you're literally throwing money away. Learn what we teach and get paid for doing it. Now you got a 1099 coming to your house. And 1099s aren't taxed like W-2s. Now your W-2 increases because less taxes are coming out. Because the 1099 allows you to get more money from your W-2. But the government says you have to have a business in order to get more money out of your W-2. If you don't have a business, you're not allowed to play that game. The IRS put this out over 10 years ago in 2005. Where does your refund come from? It comes from your wallet or purse. <laughs> Where? Your wallet or purse. When you tell your employer how much to withhold from your paycheck or you make an estimated tax payment. Well, the average refund, that's about 40 bucks a week too much. So your refund comes from you. A lot of people think their CPA did them a favor. Oh, I got the best CPA. Oh, I got the best you know, tax person. My cousin do my taxes. I'm like, girl, John John can't do your taxes if you start playing on a higher level because he doesn't understand the tax codes that a CPA understands. So because you don't have the money to pay a CPA, it's because you're not making the money to pay the CPA. But the reason you're not making the money to pay the CPA is because your taxes are too high. So they got you from the beginning. So my point to you guys is you got to learn that the tax refund is not your friend. Now, some of y'all are going to hang up after that, but it's okay. It's going to take the new you to understand new money. If you're going to become an entrepreneur, you can decide to start your own small business. The average in the United States, it's $65,000 to start a traditional small business on average in the United States today. You could do that, or you might decide to take a look at network marketing. Network marketing now does approximately $200 billion a year uh, in revenue, network marketing, which um, pays out approximately $200 million a day in commissions. Um, network marketing has created a platform for people with a very low price of entry and a very high potential upside depending on your effort. But regardless, the tax benefits alone for getting involved are tremendous. So, like I said, whichever side of the aisle you find yourself on, just know this. Network marketing might not be perfect, but it's better. Being in business for yourself might have its challenges, might not have as much support as your W-2 income, but it's better for a whole a myriad of reasons, and now you can add tax benefit reasons to that list. So here's my question to you guys before we go. Why didn't everybody have a business? Oh, I know, because college didn't teach you entrepreneurship 101. They can't, because if everybody had a business, there'd be no need for college because colleges teach you how to get a job, how to get a job interview, how to get a degree so you can look better on paper for somebody else. Now, 
Why can I say that? Well, because I got a degree. So I'm not, I can't be knocking it. I'm saying it's outdated. So you want to put this with your degree and have your education and knowledge from college and have a specialized skill set. Now that makes you a beast. Education is the most important thing in the world. Don't misunderstand what I'm saying. I'm saying you need to add a 1099 to your W-2 and be a beast at both. So those of you get, uh, that are involved already, congratulations. Those of you who are yet to consider getting involved, now's a really good time.